It's the next big move for Kaleida Health. News 4's Rich Newberg reports Women and Children's Hospital has unveiled designs for a new facility on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. This first preliminary look at what Buffalo's new Women and Children's Hospital may look like follows the plans of the doctors who work there. As really uh, being the product of a physician led a committee that has been meeting now for so long that I don't even remember, but over two and a half years. Now, the Buffalo Planning Board also knows the conceptual design of the 10 story, 430,000 square foot freestanding hospital to be built at the corner of Ellicott and High Streets. Board approval is critical to the project. We hope that uh, we will have uh, a um, endorsement from the planning uh, board. But we need to know how we're going to be protected. In another issue involving Kaleida Health, the planning board also heard from individuals who live near the now vacant Deaconess Hospital, which Kaleida wants to demolish. Some residents who live in the nearby Riley Dodge neighborhood said they haven't been told what's going on. We're just more concerned about the asbestos, the rodents, and things of that nature. It will take about six months to demolish Deaconess. In its place, the Community Action Organization plans on building a new headquarters that will also house the Head Start program. We have a not-for-profit who is conveying the land to another not-for-profit. Uh, they're, they're going to build housing and some commercial space in there. So from a development perspective, uh, it's a good thing. But obviously, when there's demolition involved, there's concerns, and we're trying to address that. That is a big project, and there will be a big meeting regarding the demolition of Deaconess on August 16th at St. Martin de Poor's Church on Northampton Street. Reporting live, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 6.